Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stamp It Up demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. Today, we are going to be working with the paper pumpkin. I'm so excited. I was following the link um, for the tracking and it said it wasn't going to get here till Tuesday. Today is Friday. So I didn't check my mailbox till this evening. Oh my goodness. It was sitting out there all day. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. I already cut it so I can take off my address label. This is the joy to the world. October 2020 paper pumpkin. I am sorry about this lighting. But it is nighttime because I did not check my mailbox because I didn't know it was anything out there. So let's get into this. I love this color of the box. It's like cherry cobbler or Mary Merlot. Let's get inside and we'll find out, right? Maybe. Oh, the ink spot is just jade. That's one of the new ink colors. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be the color of the box. Okay, spread the joy, tis the season for joy, and paper pumpkin. Here is, hip, um, I'm sorry, and paper pumpkin is here to help you spread the holiday cheer all over the globe. The October paper pumpkin kit was designed to help connect you with people around the world and gives you sentiments in English, French, and German. Oh, wow, so I guess this is what we're going to be making. Mmm. I'm, I'm happy they did that. So just in case we wanted to use the French or the German words, we'll know which ones mean what. That's nice. Okay, and here's our stamp set. Can you see that? I want to leave it against the white tissue paper. It says, to the world, to you and yours, sending Merry Christmas, joy, wishing you a very happy Christmas filled with fun and laughter. Then we have the wreath some holly berries, and a pretty flower. Okay, let's get into this thing. Let's get into it. Oh, come out, come out. Come out. Let's get this off to the side. Get our scissors and oh, get into this. I'm so excited. I got it way earlier than I thought, so I'm excited, excited, excited. Okay, so we see already we have some twine in our dimensionals, okay? Let's flip it over so we can look at the instructions here. These are cute cards. I like them already. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. The envelopes are decorated. Okay, let's... Okay, this kit includes Joy to the World Photopolymer Stamp Set, Just Jade Ink Spot, card bases with brass foil, printed envelopes, brass foil die cuts, embossed die cuts, printed die cuts, stitched die cut labels, cherry cobbler linen. So that is cherry cobbler, dimensional and adhesive dots. Then here are some extra little things that you can do with the kit. Can you guys see that? I'm so worried about this lighting. Okay, let's see here. And these are the instructions. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves, aren't we? I'm just ready to dig in. Let's flip this back over and look at our pieces. Okay, so we have some like braided sweater type embossed um, white paper. So that's cute. Okay, we have a couple of little, oh, we have it in squares and in rectangles. And I believe these are our envelopes. That is cute. It has love, joy, and peace in all of the different languages. That's pretty. Okay, did it tell us how many? No, it doesn't. So let's count the envelopes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are some thick envelopes, man. Wow. They're thick. Okay, here's our stitched labels. 
Oh, these are card bases. That's pretty with the brass embossing on there. Are they different? Okay, let's see. Hmm. They look sort of kind of. Yeah, they are different. They're the same but different. <laughs> the um, lines just go in different directions. Okay, that's nice and cool looking. And here goes our some of our die cut. Oh, look at the wreath. That is so cute. So we have a couple of those. Then we have the brass words, joy. I can't read it. It's too shiny. F friend. Love. And then in different languages. Oh, we have a couple of sheets of those. Okay, in our little glue dots. All right, let's get started here. So I know we're going to need a card base. Let's put our instructions up front. We're going to need one of each of these card bases. Let me get my phone folder. I don't want to rub the bone folder across the embossing, so I'm going to do it on the back. This is already pre-scored for you, but I just like to make sure that they lined up well. So I'm going to get one of each base. So we can get this started here. Okay, we get our Just Jade. We're going to get the big um, ink pad. As you guys, I tell you all the time, I don't open these. I use them for something else. Let's look at our instructions. Okay, so we're gonna need the rectangle for this one and the square for this one. And we'll put the rest away. Then we're gonna need one of these. We're gonna need a wreath. We'll just punch that out. It's a cute little shape. And then we're going to need two of these for over here. Okay. What else do we need? We need one gold banner for this one. Then we need the word joy or peace or love. What do we want ours to say? I think joy. Yes, let's do joy. Let me find the joy. No. No, I'm going to do love. I'm going to do love. Yeah. I think I want to do love. Whoop. Be careful getting it out. You don't want to tear your letters because these are kind of small. So we have the love. Okay, so we have that. Okay, and then we're gonna need one of the big ones for the square and the small one for over here. Now, we're good to go. So I'm gonna get a block, a couple of blocks. We're gonna be using Merry Christmas. And that block is too small. So I have another one right here. I'm gonna do Merry Christmas. I'm rubbing like whatever. Sometimes there's a film on the photopolymer stamps. So I just wanna rub that off. And then we're, since we're doing love, it's gonna to say to you and yours. So we'll get that one out. gonna need this it looks like I might need the wreath okay that's gonna have to go on there and I think that's it so what we'll do let me go ahead and take this wreath off I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiments now that way I can get my blocks that I need so we're just gonna put this right here in the middle 
easy peasy. That's so pretty. Where is my chamois? I cut my chamois into thirds. It's easier to handle that way for me. So we can take that off and put our reef back on. Then we can stamp to you and yours on this stitched rectangle. That looks crooked. Well, kind of curved. When you dealing with photopolymers, it's real easy to curve a, a stamp that should be straight. So it's best to put it down and then just pick it up with your block. That way you'll know it stays straight. Okay, that is good. Wow. You guys know I don't usually get it the first time that good. Okay, so now let me open up the directions and see. It looks like I'm supposed to stamp the wreath over the lighter green. So let me just make sure. Yes, that's what I'm supposed to do. So yes, I'm supposed to stamp. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. Hmm. Let's see if I can find the shape. Okay. Let's move that out the way so we don't mess it up. I think this is right, right here, like this. If it's not, that's what we're going with. That's what I'm going with. We're gonna just stamp that on okay that's cute so it has the lighter green and the darker green yeah that goes there i'll put my picture reference back up i think that's all the stamping done okay so I'm move this to the side so we won't make a mess with it get these out of the way get this out of the way and what we're going to do is take this and our twine. And we're going to wrap some twine around and tie a bow. So we're just going to wrap some twine around this. I have to do it upside down. And my only one, when I tie bows, they always seem to go upside down. So I have to turn my paper upside down to tie my bow so that it'll be right side up. Am I the only one that happens to? Now it looks like I tied it right. <laughs> it's kind of loose, but that's okay. We're going to twist it to this side over here. And let's see, I think we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals. So we'll do that. Oh, there we go. I'll put just a couple on there. Just a few. I'm gonna pop this up. Guess it doesn't matter which way it goes right let's make sure we have this mm, let's put it it looks like they have it more towards the bottom so let's do that I'm just gonna pull this to the side so I won't get it stuck under there Ooh. then we will have this that we will attach right here and then the love. So we're going to attach these with glue dots. Let me get my take your pick tool because that is easier for me. Let's see if I can just take these off of here and get them onto here. Hmm. These glue dots are kind of big. So I'll put it at the bottom of the letters because I can kind of cover it up on the V and the O. Gotta get them sticking. I have my liquid glue here. I could have used that. So we'll just put this about right here. 
Oh man. Cause I didn't need it on the V. Cause it's in the middle. And I'll put it, could have just attached it to the back of this. It's probably what I should have done. I'm gonna put a lot of um, glue dots on this cause I don't want it to come off since the um, wreath is popped up and there's nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle when I put glue dots there. Hmm. I'm smart. <laughs> It's okay, it'll still, it still stick. We just have extra glue dots. So I'm gonna put this right about here. That'll stick there. And then, hmm, should I pop this up? I think I would, I don't know if they pop theirs up, but I'm gonna pop my layer up. So we're gonna add dimensionals to the back of this. And this will also help us keep our ribbon secure because it is kind of loose. So I will just pull it tight and put dimensionals on it. That way it'll stick. It will stay. Okay, and then we're just gonna Set this right on our card. That was easy. Card one is done. So let's do number two. Okay, so for this card, let's see which way do I want these going up or down? Since the stripes are going up on that, I'll do this one this way. And we are going to add this onto our foil first. So let's put some glue dots on our foil. That should be enough. Three should do. Oh, I just balled that one up. Let me put another one right next to it because I balled it up. Okay, so we have that there, and then these are gonna go behind that. So we'll have it kind of like this here. Okay, so we'll just put more glue dots. More glue dots. I'm gonna just put two at the top and two at the bottom. And then we can add our flowers. Add the flowers. Okay. So we're, let's see. It's kind of up like this. I hope I put them in the right place. Put it like that. Actually, they have more of it covered up. Man, that's such a pretty flower to get. Hmm. Most of it is covered. I want more of it peeking out. Oh man, they're really covering this up. Hmm. And we'll put dimensionals on the back of this. want to cover up all that those flowers are so pretty so of course you know I am going to make some alternate pr projects because I don't like the way that all those pretty flowers got covered up okay let's see we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use some liquid glue because the glue dots are kind of fussy for me right now. oh man which side do I want to use hmm I like this side it's probably not the side that was intended but that's the side I like so that's what I'm gonna use. Mm-hmm. Oh. But I want my stripes going the opposite way of the stripes on the base. Okay, and then we're gonna get some more twine. I'm gonna get some of our stampin' seal and put a little 
in the middle here to hold. We're gonna make a nest of twine. So I'm just gonna wrap this around my fingers three times and about right there. Cut that off. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I just need to make sure that it's in the circle and can be seen on the edges. Now let's see here. And this is just gonna go over it, yep. I need this to stretch out more. Let me see if I can hold it while I put this on. There we go. That's the second card done. That's it, you guys. Aren't they cute, though? They're nice and simple. I should have pushed that over a little bit more because it's hanging off, but that's okay. It's kind of cricket. But you know me in straightness. Okay, you guys, I just noticed I made a mistake. When I put this card on, the reason the banner was touching the sides is because I had it as a portrait card and it's supposed to go landscape. So I just pulled it up and turned it. Okay, that is it my friends. That is all I have for you today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I wanna thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye.